answering the question of why a podcast. Um, fair question. Great question. Uh, why a podcast? I don't know, to be honest with you, other than the fact that um, I think it's something that I, I felt a little bit stifled with what I do, uh, which I do a lot of things from uh, speaking to real estate investing to a brokerage to property management to lending um, and that type of thing. Uh, social media for me also has been um, a nice uh, uh, little um, outlet for things. I read a lot of books. So I put book reviews on there. I talk a little bit about what I'm doing professionally, what's going on with the family. But some things that I've realized over the last couple of years that kind of drove me to say, you know, I really should think about getting, expressing how I feel about certain topics like business, like real estate, and just life in general out to the public. And, and one way to do that is by a podcast. Um, I think they're very popular now. I think, I'm, uh, you know, I don't think, I know they're very popular now. The Joe Rogans of the world and really so many people have a podcast. They have different missions for that podcast. So I think my mission with this podcast of keeping with the theme of talking about business and real estate and life is to kind of express myself in ways that I don't, I don't do right now. Um, for instance, social media, I have a rule that I don't talk about politics. Uh, I don't talk about religion uh, because they're so sensitive. Uh, when I say they, I mean people in general and, and um, um, companies in general today are, are so sensitive to that. I want an outlet in which I can kind of give my opinion on stuff. And I don't think social media is a way to do that. Um, just like texting isn't a way, a, a very good way to communicate. Sometimes you can't express what you mean by a text. Same thing goes with social media. I don't think you can express what you mean all the time by social media, but a podcast in which whether I'm on there solo or I am on there with guests, uh, really give me a, a nice platform to be able to explain my position on some things. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going to be a little edgy with stuff. Um, I, I believe different things just like everyone does, but I really haven't stated how I felt about, you know, different things in politics, our president, for instance, um, uh, different things with science, uh, including global warming, uh, different things in real estate investing, including interest rates and, and what a typical investor looks like today. The seminar industry, which I've been a part of for a long time, you know, the, the, the do's and don'ts of that, the, the successes, the frauds, the, all of that. I want to bring all of that out. I've got so much experience with that. And so it, it, well, the question should be, why does my podcast matter? I think for some people, it doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm okay with that. This is for kind of me expressing my opinion and fact, if you will, uh, about the world in the landscape and lens of business, real estate, and life. So it may not appeal to a, uh, a certain people. It's going to be fantastic for other people um, that are in that, that genre. I also want to have people that challenge me. I want to challenge other people. Uh, I know that, you know, everything I believe isn't totally right, perhaps. I, I, I am aware of that. Um, I am in a position in my life where I want to grow. I want to continue to grow. So, you know, I know that I'm going to be wrong uh, in, in certain cases. I know that I'm going to be right in, a, in certain cases, probably the majority uh, of cases, you're going to hear uh, me be right. Uh, but I joke a little bit with that, but I'm open to that. I'm open to being wrong. And I think that's what makes a good podcast is when you have uh, people and you talk about subjects that you don't necessarily agree with. 
Um, that's what makes a good podcast, a good podcast host. Well, that's somebody that is open to being wrong. That's someone that is open to talk about topics and issues that uh, may not be popular, uh, that may not be part of the mainstream and might be shocking. You know, um, I had a, a privilege of being in the radio business for a while and radio was tough. Uh, you know, the Sirius XM uh, side of things, tough in a couple of ways. Number one, you always had to come up with a show that was entertaining and writing for that show was uh, was tough. But um, the other thing that was interesting is, uh, you know, what I could say and what I couldn't say with regard to, um, you know, the standards of XM, Sirius XM, and, and be kind of have guidelines. I don't have any guidelines here for this podcast. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I think that uh, because of that, I'm not going to, you know, do this all the time, but because of that, I may cuss a little bit. I don't get that from me. I've never really been a huge cusser. My wife, Heather, those of you that know her or seen her talk, she cusses a little more than I do. I don't want to say sailor's mouth, but she does have a bit more of a sailor's mouth than I do. I sometimes pick that up. So I might have a a slip up here in the podcast, if you will. Hopefully, you'll forgive me. If you don't, that's okay too. But uh, I'm excited about it. Um, real estate, business, and in life is the theme of this, and uh, I really don't want to hold anything back. I just want this to be a platform where I can express my feelings about certain topics, and I know that I'm going to have people that don't agree with me, and I'm okay with that. Uh, hopefully you're okay with that as well. What makes uh, discussion and arguments so good is different perspectives. And and uh, that's where I think this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, there's so many heated things that you can talk about with real estate, with business, with life. Um, and when you add some flavor and spice in with things like politics and religion and and kids and family and, and, and uh, you know, alcohol and all kinds of stuff, uh, I think it's going to make for a really good podcast, the Real Wise podcast. It's going to be something that you don't want to miss. Uh, I'm excited and uh, I can't wait to start. So I will see you there because I know you're going to be tuning in.